A new patch for Star Wars Battlefront 2 brings a whole new game mode and Ewok hunt, new bugs to find, and a whole new can I get up there exploration all coming up next. Welcome back, and with the new patch for Star Wars Battlefront 2, we've had had a few days to explore and find a few issues and test out the new game mode Ewok Hunt. Ewok Hunt also brings us a whole new area to search for. Can I get up there? And stay tuned till the end, because I'll show you how to get in the trees as a stormtrooper. Today, we'll start with covering a couple issues we found with bugs, and if you found anything else that we don't list, please let us know so we can get an accurate list of all the bugs currently going out there. And we'll talk about Ewok Hunt and if it's fun. Remember, if you enjoy this video, you can support this channel in several different ways. You can hit that like button, you can subscribe, you can share, and we are now also on Patreon. Starting on the 23rd, we'll be on God of War. It comes out today and I'm super excited. We will be returning to Battlefront the week of the 30th, so don't worry, we're not leaving. We will be coming back. In our week away from Battlefront 2, you can always fill your Battlefront needs with StarWarsGaming.net. They will keep you up to date with the news of the day and fill all your Battlefront 2 needs. There's going to be a link down in the description down below. Be sure to check them out. They're a great source for this community. Let's start with a few bugs. The main one we found is Infiltration is Broken. It no longer shows enemy locations on the minimap unless you're using the Scrambled Infiltration. This will make the Specialist a little harder to play. So just be aware if you're not running Scrambled Infiltration, your minimap cannot be trusted. If you have played Ewok Hunt, and let's not lie you have, your Enforcer cards have all been removed and reset. Be sure after playing Ewok Hunt to add the cards back on before you start playing another game mode. Also, along these lines, Ewok Hunt will reset your brightness to the default setting, which is 50%. So if you've increased or decreased your brightness for Galactic Assault or Blast or Strike or whatever you're playing to make things easier to see, You'll need to go into your menu settings and go ahead and bump that back up or down depending on your preferences after each game of Ewok Hunt. There's still reports about emotes not working on some of the heroes like Aiden and Leia. I haven't really tried these uh, or tested them since the patch. It doesn't really change the game so there's really no concern there. And the last bug that I've noticed is at times your trooper classes will stop leveling throughout the game. Right now my officer got stuck at 66 tonight and I noticed it a little bit before this patch as well. In order to fix it you'll have to go to your main menu, spend your current skill points, it seems to happen around 6 points or so on hold, and then it'll start leveling again. So just keep that in mind if you're only playing a class to try to level it. Just check your bar to make sure it's increasing after each death. So let's talk a little bit about Ewok Hunt. Nub -dub. Is Ewok Hunt fun? After a lot of playtime in Ewok Hunt, the answer for me is a resounding yes. While it can become a little dull from time to time, I have gone an entire match without seeing an Ewok till I boarded the ship. And it can be a little repetitive if everyone camps the cave match after match. But overall, this is a great game mode and I really hope it becomes a permanent fixture. The matches are quick, which is great if you're on a shorter time frame. And the time as a stormtrooper is really intense. I've also found turning off the HUD makes it even more fun since you have to watch for this ship instead of the icon telling you where to go. And the Ewoks have these weird glowing eyes as well, which is a little off-putting if your flashlight goes out while they're attacking you. The usage of first person makes this even more fun and really what makes this feel so intense. It does feel like I'm playing the 2017 Resident Evil at times, which if you haven't tried that game it's great. And it really does help put you in the environment a little bit better. While in Ewok, it's hilarious to see a large group of people chase down a single trooper, especially when they're racing to get to the ship near the end of the match. You also have to be very aggressive as an Ewok to win, and the Ewoks being able to see better at night helps a ton since they have a much weaker health pool. They're basically a specialist, and it took me forever to notice that there's actually footsteps on the ground you can follow as an Ewok, and I'm super observant to track the ones that get lost in the woods. Now there are some minor things that should be changed to make it even harder and the first is to make the cave much smaller and harder to hold. They're already well aware of this and it's been tweeted out that that's going to be changing and right now troopers just hide in there and it becomes really hard for Ewoks to get in and slows the pace down. Second, the map can be a bit big. Uh, I think shrinking it as the time goes on or as the troopers start dying off, much like the Battle Royale games, would make it a little bit more intense and it could shrink towards the extraction point. And the last thing that I would like to see changed is more players. 
There way there'd be more Ewoks, more people to kill, more people running around. I just want more. We could extend this as well to some of the other maps on Endor, uh, some something like an Imperial base, or uh, we were talking on the stream tonight that you could do an Order 66 style mode with this same setup where you have a couple clone troopers out there and everyone else is a Jedi, and as the Jedi fall, they become clone troopers and just hunt down the rest of the Jedi, and that would actually be pretty sweet. So you can extend this mode into several different options and time periods. The last thing that came with the patch is the skins, and the skins look great. Well, for the most part. Some of the officer skins for the uh, Empire and really the dark side skins are kind of lacking. Hopefully we'll get a few more of those coming in, and I would like to see all of the alien races available on all classes. That way I can play a Twi'lek on any class that I please, uh, although I really do like the specialist, and that is an amazing skin, so... So finally, the last thing we're going to do in this video is, can I get up there? Where we see what we can get on top of. Sometimes it's useful, most of the time it's not, but it's always fun. As a trooper, you can get up on the trees where the Ewoks spawn, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to look for that AT-AT that's been downed in the woods. Once you start seeing it, you're going to turn to your left, and you'll see an AT-ST foot on the ground. If you look up from that ATST foot, you'll see the Ewoks huts up in the up in the tree line. Follow the Ewoks huts all the way towards your left hand side, and you'll find a hill with a rock. Now on this hill, you can glitch up it by rolling twice. You have to roll, get stuck on the rock, roll again, and you'll be out of bounds. From there, you can jump up on top of one of the little tree hut things, and you are up on the trees. This one is not connected to all of them but you can go pretty far on it, and it's a lot of fun to get up there and shoot at your own stormtroopers and watch them try to figure out how you did it. Also, you can catch a couple Ewoks off guard when they're just kind of sitting up there looking for someone to kill, and that's hilarious as well. I hope you guys found this video fun. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get to use this Can I Get Up There spot, and I'll see you in-game.